Okay, so now we are ready to create some visualization of our uh, efforts so far. So let's create a public material material. Okay, this will be the material of our meshes. And we also uh, want to create a method. The method will be called create meshes, or we can call it, oh, let's call it create meshes. So private void create mesh. And it will take vector two bottom left corner and vector two top right corner and here we will create our meshes for this i have been using the code monkey tutorial on how to create mesh from code so i will post a link in the description so you can check it out so in our mesh create mesh method we will create a couple of vector threes that will represent our corners so first bottom left corner and it will be equal to new vector three and we will pass a bottom left corner x zero and bottom left corner z or y sorry but because bottom left corner is vector two okay new vector three bottom right corner equals new vector three and it will be top right corner x zero bottom left corner y next it will be vector three it will be top left corner equals new vector three and we have a, a error here because we have the same names for the variables so let's change the corner for v as vertices okay so top left v so vertex and it will be bottom left corner x zero and top right corner y and last one will be vector three top right v equals new vector three and we'll pass top right corner dot x zero and top right corner dot y next we will need to create an array of vertices so let's create vector three array vertices equals new vector three and we will pass our vertices uh, as i recall the order is important but as i mentioned before please go check uh, out the video of the code monkey there it is explained how this is created so we'll pass top right vertex uh, vertex next next we'll pass bottom left one and as the last one will be bottom right vertex I believe this uh, order has to do something with the uh, triangles of our mesh. Okay, next we will need to create a vector 2 array of UVs equals new vector 2. And we have the UVs length the same as vertices length. And for i equals 0, i less than UVs dot length, i plus plus. We place uvs of i equals new vector uh, to int and we take vertices i dot x and vertices i dot z now i am not quite sure if this is how you set properly the uvs but that's what we will do for these visualizations okay next we will need to create triangles so let's create int of triangles equals near int. So as I recall, this is the order of triangles and we need to uh, place them in clockwise order. So those are the values 0, 1, 
two so those are the vertices indices and there's two one and three so this way they will uh, the, the mesh will fit the camera okay and let's create a mesh mesh equals new mesh and let's say mesh dot vertices equals our vertices mesh dot uvs equals our uvs and mesh dot triangles equals triangles okay next next we'll create a new game object that will represent our mesh and we will create a, set it to be dungeon floor and it is equal to new game object and we'll create a couple of parameters so let's call it mesh for now and we will add it add to it a component of type mesh filter and the second one will be type of a mesh renderer okay and next we will need to place it accordingly on dun dungeon floor okay the name doesn't fit okay dungeon floor transform dot position equals vector 3.0 not sure if we need to set it but i prefer to set it uh, trans dungeon floor dot uh, transform dot local scale equals new vector vector 3 ones dungeon floor get component we will get the mesh filter the mesh filter and let's get the mesh equals our mesh so we will set our size of our mesh right now and next we need a dungeon floor get component mesh renderer and we need to set our material so the mesh is actually visible to us so material equals material and we can uh, call uh, change the name well, possibly we can change the name here so we can change the name to be plus bottom left corner so we can know which mesh we are talking about and i believe that's mostly it so we should be now uh, be calling this uh, method after getting our uh, list of rooms so for i equals zero i length of list list of rooms that count let's change the name to be valid so list of rooms great and in here we will cre call a create mesh and here we will pass a list of rooms i dot bottom left corner and list of rooms i dot top right corner let's finish this okay and now we should be able to go to the unity editor and assign some material to our dungeon creator so we have floor material you should have it in your assets that you have downloaded from github and let's press play and see if it works and it seems it does okay let's maybe make the camera to look at this with align with view okay and let's try changing the max iteration to maybe 10 see if it still works okay and you can see that uh, there were multiple rooms created okay so it looks quite good okay why this does it camera I, I think it was in play mode okay so let's camera align with view let's play it again okay great so it seems everything is working fine so this part is over we have split the space into uh, smaller spaces now in the next part we will take care of connecting those with roads and creating walls so see you there